with the oven cup and with a Norway top. This has 24 frets. It's a year 2019, so it will be the models for the next year. And this is the Simplicio 932 double cutaway with Widner pegs. It has a double fretboard. And well, this guitar is spectacular. Thank you very much to Bruce, to my friend Bruce Cavar for lending me this instrument to make the review. And well, between all the things, fortunately, it has some dots here because I have mine there and I'm still learning to play this freedom uh, all the way access to the fretboard. Sublime tuning capacity, and of course, uh, it's very easy to play. And this fretboard is incredible, really. it's a fantastic guitar, and it's a balanced guitar, also. Meaning that if I play it like this, it stays there, I don't need to be holding it with anything by its own weight. And this made a beautiful set of oven calls. This sounds very very similar to Rosewood, check it out, a fantastic model. And this has, that I think, I don't know how many models would be with that, but this has a, a camel ash uh, neck, which is another uh, version different from the maple, maple uh, fried board. strings also, well, you will see the video, a different video, but, but they put those also on the base, sugar, made with sugar, check it out, so. amazing, it's very different set of strings, but these strings go perfect, and I know you, Bruce, you do like it red, so these this are bread, are red in fact. So we will enjoy it. zero fret and well this is just an amazing guitar and of course it's the only guitar in the world which has the nylon string I mean carbon fiber saddle and the access to the whole fretboard with 24 frets so this here goes to the to the three octaves right so from here I mean, So incredible thing. Because fretboards are run all over, 
Here in Spain, mostly every fretboard will be having inconsistencies. You can check it with a business card and, and a pencil, putting it like this, and then I will post it in the description if you have. But if you play any chord, when one octave there, it's unbelievable that it tunes maybe all over. So. Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. 
Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.